Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make this macrame fruit hammock. To start you're going to grab two quarter inch dowels that are about 12 inches long and you're also going to need 12 pieces of a 90 inch long cord and I'll put the type of cord down in the description below. So start by attaching one of your pieces of cord to one of the dowels using a lark's head knot. And then we're going to make an extended lark's head knot by taking the right side, bringing it in front of and around behind, and bring the end through like that to make an extra little hitch knot there on the right. And then we're going to do the same thing on the left. So take the left cord and bring it in front of the dowel and then back around and bring the end through the loop and pull that tight to secure it. And that is how we're going to attach all of the cords. So go ahead and attach the remaining cords to your dowel. And I decided just to tape mine down to my desk. So just secure it wherever you're working, however you want to. And if you just have some tape, you can easily just tape it down to your desk or your workstation. And now we're going to start by making a square knot here all the way on the left. So you just take the left cord and put it in front of the two center cords in a four shape, bring the right cord behind and bring the end through that loop over on the left. Then pull the cords to tighten the knot up to where you want it. I left a little bit of space there. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So hold the right cord in front and that and kind of reverse four and then bring the left cord back behind and through the loop. And then once you get that done, make sure the top of your knot is straight and then go ahead and tighten everything up. Once you get that first square knot finished, you're going to go ahead and tie five more square knots going all the way to the right. To start the next row, you're going to skip the two cords on the far left and tie a square knot using those next four cords. When you tighten it up, just leave about an inch to an inch and a half of space between this row and the row you just did. Continue tying these alternating square knots going all the way across and just really try to make them as even and neat as you can. For the next row, we're going to start all the way on the left again, and you're just going to tie another row like you did for the first row. You're just going to repeat these two rows until you have 15 rows of square knots all together. All right, now we're going to attach our second dowel. So I have all my ropes spread out here at the bottom and you're just going to take your dowel and you're going to wrap the far left cord around and then you're going to wrap it in front of where you just wrapped and bring it down behind and through. And you are just tying a double half hitch knot around the dowel. I left about a finger's width of space between the last row of square knots and this row of double half hitch knots. And you're just going to repeat that with each cord. So I'm grabbing the next cord and wrapping it around. And then once you get the first wrap done, you take, take it again and wrap it one more time and bring the end through the loop. And you're going to repeat that with each cord going all the way across. Once 
Once you get all your cords attached to the second dowel, just hold the two ends together to see if your rows are about the same width. And if not, you'll want to spread these double half hitch knots out a bit just to get them about the same. Now we're going to grab some craft glue and first we're going to go through and make sure all the double half hitch knots are really tight. So go through and pull on both ends of the knot to really secure them in place. And then you'll have the back side facing you and just take your glue and run a bead of glue all the way across the back of the double half hitch knots. Then I just used my finger to spread the glue out. You could also use a paintbrush or something here and then let that dry. Then cut the excess cord off pretty close to the knots. And this is how it'll look at this point. So our hammock is basically done and now we just have to hang it up. And here I am fitting mine and I realized that mine was actually a little too um, long so I needed to trim it off. So the way I did that is I just used a hacksaw and I just cut off the excess. It would also be a really good idea to do this before you make it. You could just go ahead and measure your dowels and see how long they or how wide they need to be and then just trim them down before you make your hammock. But if you do it like I did and you realize at the last minute, just cut off the ends and sand them down and it's no big deal. So there's two ways to install your hammock. One is with these gold hooks. I got these in just like a picture hanging kit. For a more permanent solution, you can screw those into the bottoms of your cabinets. Another option is using just command hooks, which is what I'm doing. These are a little bit more temporary and you can always take them off if you plan on moving or if you're in a rental or anything like that. So I just kind of eyeballed where I wanted my hammock to be. And if you're using the gold hooks at this point, you would just screw them in um, underneath your cabinet where you, you know, where they need to go in each corner. Since I'm using the command hook, so you get this little sticky stuff here. There's one side goes against the hook and one goes against the surface and you rip them apart and just put them, uh, adhere it to your hook and then just stick the hook where you need it to be. So I was just trying to make sure I did them straight across from each other. And then I stuck my hammock up there on the one side and I held it up on the other side to figure out where the other hooks needed to be. And that's all there is to it. It was so easy to install. And you see they're just stuck up there. And if I want to take it down or anything in the future, it's no big deal. And I didn't have to put any holes in the bottom of my cabinets. After I installed it, I tested my fruit hammock with a bunch of different kinds of fruit and some potatoes and stuff. And it did great. I just love how this turned out and it's going to really free up some counter space. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching!